base. Otherwise, yeah, LGD have very good jungle invade. Mm -hmm. Are we a little bit worried about Boom's timings? What are they looking like? Where are the potential strong points for them? Chasing this tiny all the way back into his jungle. Oh, can he finish this off? There's Windlace on Tim's, but a few more punches. The deny from the neutral is not going to come. Jin Q drawing first blood. Straight on to Scam, forcing Nature's attendance out. FBZ so far not under too much pressure, not having any difficulties in the lane. But I'm go again from Arme. Takes down the Enchantress with a few swipes. Already had those stacks up and running. And now the toss back. Tim sends Jinky onto tower. Jackie gonna pick up the kill. Boom, striking back when they need it most. I've seen Pox. Tim's yeah, bottom lane looks well. very dead. Oh, he's trapped in the igloo, is he? Yeah. Spirit Siphon and the damage from Faith Beyond. The treads again. Makes him much tankier, giving you those stats. And Yopaj finds himself a haste rune. Oh, scam up top again. Arme straight into the back of Bambi and FBZ. Not much he can do here unless this call from Yopaj turns it back on them. Arme just continues to fight, stacking up the Fury Swipes, but with that orb from Yopaj, making short work of the bear. This is the they get a kill on Ursa pre-level 6, uh, trying to stabilize uh, lane for Timbersaw, but Konka, he's massive. 47 CS, uh, level 7, using a boat. This might be a solo kill on Tims. He's just under tower, killing the Tiny. That was a toss back by Tims. Body blocks from Yopanj, but no stuns. Nothing to say, very wisely TPs away. Understands that he doesn't even need to pop a Fairy Fire. A bit of a move in onto Skem. And even though they expected it, Enchantress will be the one to put her body in harm's way. Boated and torrented. Yopaj comes in with a two-hero coil, but the snowball in the back. Try and aim on Jackie with a tag team going. Some good damage there, but Tim's with the avalanche holds oh, he's the aggression start back. Healing and up. Bian Never mind. He's about to die. Punk with the orb will finish it off. A toss forward, though. Yopaj, he wants more. Waning Rift to silence up Jin Q. Nine-minute rune bottled by the puck in the middle of battle. Not giving anything away to this Tusk. It will take a while to chase him down, but the Avalanche and another orb will secure this kill for sure. He's That's buying boom. time. He's trying to get the, on a mid lane snowball. Ooh, not in range. The creeps died. He All was of corrosion, big. brown boots, a few little bits and bobs there. As Tim's, he finds the toss back on Jin Q. Torrent misses, but with an X mark now landing and the snowball in, Jin Q and nothing to say will find Yopaj Puck. FBZ and Tim's will not be stuck on the tower for too much longer. Chain away, gets them out. He could have, but, as I said it, maybe like 15, 20 minutes uh, without that. Tim's oh, he get walks, blown up. Walks up the staircase into two very angry LGD heroes. I, he thinks there's a high ground observer ward. There is Fury a swipes. It's Battle Fury, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's got the same name, of course yeah, it's that. Yeah, it amplifies double damage. Yeah, that's logic for you. Oh, nothing to say. Coil, toss, snap with the hand of God. Healing coming in from Wise Chen. And they've caught them up Still with a nice turn in. Does have the Mac and Timber Saw shredded. The ghosts of Faith Beyond clearing through the timber. Tier 1 will still be defended. Well, it's just a, a wave cut. Both the mid lane. Kill. Medusa did pop ulti. Stone gaze out from Jackie. Snowball in from Jin Q. Focusing on those Medusa with a little punch forward. But uh, LGD, they're so good at this back and forth. The ebb and flow of the team fights, allowing Arme to come in for the second wave of aggression. They lose the tusk, but it's fine. Killing the Timber Saw there. And the line being held as the puck caught out with a torrent from nothing to say. Arme with a double kill. And they'll keep on going. X Mark will drag the tiny back into the waiting arms. The painful embrace of this Death Prophet with the Spirit Siphons and the Crypt Swarms. Tiny still surviving though, thanks to an avalanche and a move from Skem. But LGD get what they can. Killable at this point. Smoked up into this Radiant Triangle. Wise Chen has scouted some people out, but they backstabbed straight into the Medusa. Oh, Jackie. Third in the net worth, died Inside a couple of times in a go. row. And with a ghost still going, yeah. Arm has the Yules up as well. Scam forced to nature's attendance while back in the triangle, nothing to say. He's being chased around here by Tims and Yopaj, but Roshan is secured. LGD yet again, the objective they came for, they claim, and now snowball in towards Tims. Trying to force a fight around this triangle. X Mark dragging him back in. As why, surprisingly, the one he saw the Enchantress a second ago. 
He's under a Radiant Observer Ward, and with a Hellbear following him, can't find the angle. Well, Ame. Ame is alone. He does have a help from Hand of God if necessary, but the rest of the team needs to connect. Yeah, they do. They need to get here quick. First life about to be claimed. Aegis gone. Lost the overpower. Will not have it for five, six seconds. Oh, nice silence. Make sure there's no toss back. And even with a the coil there, Ame thinking about fighting. Why and Faith Beyond, they join in. Tossing the DP in. Loses half her health to the whirling death of FBZ. That preemptive silence from Faith Beyond. Perfect timing. Before it was Just not the, the you gotta effect. you gotta add the you know maybe extra 10%. five five six percent. <laughs> oh mate, nearly solo killing the puck up top. He's got her. Dominating streak for Arme and puck dying again. A sloppy mistake from Yopage. And having way more impact. Scam getting TP'd on. Well, saying goodbye to the Bambi. You blink and you miss it. As LGD are so quick with these decisive moves across the map. Oh, she still, still might oh, find him. Yules to cancel the TP. He'll find Tims and another great catch here from LGD. Jinkyu will tag along. An avalanche toss will only delay the death of the tiny. But you look at the mini map here now. Yes, they TP two heroes. You're like the voice of God echoing in their heads. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm as good as PSG good. LGD, not. I'll <laughs> shut up. Well, Medusa getting caught out here. The backup coming in little by little by boom, but they've left her alone now just to die. The coil didn't save her, and Jackie dead for 50 seconds. Snowball towards FBZ, Yopage at half HP. LGD will keep on chasing under the tier two. I don't Nothing know if they can kill anyone them. on PSG LGD. They're also tanking. Why Pops only Hand of God still has mech and 20 Holy Locket charges? Well, good night, Tims. Sent to the nether realm by this Armay Ursa. Blink, Battle but Fury. He needs work. to be able to find the farm. We are talking about uh, four, five, six minutes potentially. And then after the Scardi, will it just be rapier time, do you reckon? Get that bonus damage, try and finish things up. Or oh, Armay. Oh, that's a lot of damage from FBZ. A toss up and inside the coil, Armay's Ursa. A huge kill for Boom. They're going to find him. The backup not available for him. Okay. It's over a thousand gold going into the pockets of yeah. Boom. How much map they can control. And one minute away from the potential next spawn of Roshan. Both eye, uh, both teams will be eyeing that up. Ahmed um, drawing on a minimap, showing where he's going to be in the next minute or two. And wants to have some kind of a backup. Tims. Solo killed. Gone. Again. Finally, he does dust. have a blank dagger for himself. And scam down bottom. Both supports being picked off. LGD everywhere and nowhere. Oh, that has queued up. <laughs> what's, wait, what's... Okay. Well, I mean, more attacks, more ghosts. Pretty good against the Medusa. If, if she actually goes for it. Oh, oh, they're counting Q. Blow him up with a timber saw. A coil coming in from Yopage as well. Ursa, he snaps it. He's Yules. He does still have the enrage and maybe a blink away. Even the damage will come over the top of Army. Faith Bian and nothing to say. Arriving on the scene here to look towards the Timbersaw kill. The stone gate is good and the physical damage from Jackie. All oh, they're turning it here. Ursa's dropping low. He has to self yules. Ursa very low. The mech and the heals from Y. Keeping LGD topped up. It's nothing to say. TP's home. No stuns to stop him. But Y will be avalanched. Catching out a couple of kills here. LGD lose three. Yeah, they're pinging Roshan, losing three heroes. Uh, unfortunately, not a golden Rosh spawn for because he started with Exo, uh, with uh, with a silence, and uh, no Exo oh. came out. No BKB here. Can he snap the coil? Yes, they he can. can. The toss back. Oh, boom, mounting a comeback. They find Scam all the way to that top jungle. Arme does kill the support, but that unstoppable streak Have going Every into single that. ability that they need, except a coil, which is going to be up online in uh, 15 seconds. So looking very good for Boom right now. If they want to strike, they need to find an opening. Oh, a big team fight win here for them. Could be huge as they find Faith Beyond. The DP demolished. Dead for 50 seconds and with no buyback. Bottom. If only, if only. And into Roche they go. Oh, Arme, straight on FBZ. Yours up into the air and they've caught the Medusa around with the torrent and the bow. Jackie, she's he's out of been mana. blown up so quickly. LGD, one hero down, still fighting. Can Yopa steal it? He made the slot. Let's see if he's going to be able to jump in. Or they use the orb. Bailing no out. Orb. He can't get in there. And I don't think LGD are having any of this nonsense, though. They'll track back and look for FBZ. 
He does have a TP, but they've got tons of ways to cancel it. Chains to the low ground, but he's stuck there. He has to shack from Whirling Death. Self fuels comes up, but Faith Beyond have nothing to say. They've got the Torrent to play straight into the Timber Saw. Kill him off. And another hero dead for a bad Radiant have a decent idea of where LGD are. Arme, he just goes straight onto the Dusa, forces the Stone Gaze. E Blade to try save. Timbers with a coil snap. Moves in, but Faith Beyond BKB's up and doesn't get caught. Arme has BKB Satanic, the Hand of God. The heels come in. They'll chase FBZ down. Timber Saw moving out. Tiny getting punched into the sky. Killed off. Still, Night Why Fury slime charges on Medusa. And Ame wants Ame, to hunt. He's diving tier threes, but gives up on that. Decides just to calm down a little bit. And the puck is going on. While Boom can continue executing their game plan, split pushing, causing chaos and making noise everywhere that they possibly can. But Yopaj, oh, the Eon Disc there. Pops out of the hex. Arme with the help of the boat and Jin Q snowballing in. Looking to give chase. Avalanche Toss is going to take down the Tusk though. The rest of LGD, they were not interested in following through on the Tusk's initiation. Buying the Hurricane Puck. Yeah, Hurricane Puck. But you'll save that one for later. It's never going to happen. That's sad, isn't it? Maybe maybe one day. Maybe one day. Yopaj, hexed up. Eon Disc on cooldown. Oh, the Enchantress dismantled. The silence and the toss back on the Ursa, though. He's got the Hand of God and the Satanic to play with. He BKBs up and chases FBZ. E Blade and the Yule Scepter, they're overlapped. It's FBZ being focused. Nothing to say in Faith Bian. They are forcing Boom to split away from the Medusa. Picking out the right back. No one wants to attack it. They can't. LGD plant themselves in this radiant high ground area. Boom trying to play under their vision. So important for them to get the jump. Jin Q, the one that gets spotted. They throw the coil, the Scott is slow. Avalanche comes in from Tim's as well, but FBZ, he's annihilated. He went aggressive. Jackie, he's been caught out as well. The boat landing on the Medusa. Puck trying to stab into the back lines and deal with them, but LGD reset it. Oh, Dazback, he does have cheese available. He does indeed. No BKB for Faith Beyond, though. Gonna self yours up as Army. He pummels into Tim's, focuses in. Onto Medusa, hexed up, nearly killed. Jackie in so much trouble, can't escape. Dead with buyback though, as Boom could come back in for round two. A difficult prospect for them though. In the last like 15, 20 minutes. Oh, they're going to hit fours. They're trying to force the Refresher here. was used, Exo is available. They've got it again, you're right. Tier four's being brought down. They do have buyback on the Dusa. They're going to have to use her as LGD. They'll defend themselves even within the coil. Turning to fight with Faith Beyond and nothing to say. Getting onto FBZ and Arme, he sees the Medusa. She just bought back. Oh, she's moved back into the Angel Creeps and dead. LGD will secure this one now with no Medusa. Boom FBZ will have no damage. FBZ already used his buyback. Arme is still chasing. He'll get another one. Two heroes on the sidelines for Boom. Tim's sprinting back towards Fountain. Tail between legs. No way of defending this now. LGD far too strong, and Jin Q has that punch on the puck. GG's cool. Shocked Pikachu face right here. I mean, PSG LGD, they look on a different level. So far, managing to only drop uh, one game, they feel like you need to put in some extra effort to, to be able to bring them down. And they have a variety of the heroes that they play, but they also go with the, with the easy ones, you know. They, they don't need to overcomplicate things when it's not necessary. Get that Y Chen out, uh, get that Fate Beyond, that Prophet. And uh, we can see Boom on camera. They don't look too happy. Uh, they needed this W to secure the TI for themselves. Yeah. Uh, and this also means that, because uh, they lost, that Tundra is going to TI. So. Secured. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like you say with LGD, they're so good at building this base foundation of a draft, aren't they? With the Earthshaker or Tusk for Jin Q, the Chen, the Dazzle, whatever it is for Y. You know, Faith Bian can play any number of heroes and has that flexibility with both Nothing to Say and Arme to shift things up. And Arme, one of the most versatile heroes, right? He's played 13, 14 different heroes so far this tournament. They leave him one of the later picks to be able to...